Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So, um, I was kind of resting, but I told you I want to be making, you know, content basically every day that I can. So, um, anyhow, I get up. I said, let me go ahead. It's time for me to, you know, drop a video. I feel a little bit better. I don't know what's going on today, but I thought I seen Nelly trending. So I assumed, oh, shit, Ashanti done had the baby. Now, y'all know I've never been for this relationship. I'm not into the whole spinning the block thing, but I love me some Ashanti, and I want Ashanti to be happy. So, you know, I go, you know, I walk to Twitter. I said, okay, let me see the, you know, the news. Let's see the little bundle of joy. Maybe they'll show a little fist or a little finger or something. Oh, hell no. That ain't what I saw when I got on Twitter. They got Nelly on his crackhead shit again. Now, y'all remember years ago when I talked about Nelly getting pulled over for methamphetamines, and I said, I really hope that Ashanti knows what she's getting into because we all know Nelly got a bit of a drug problem. Well, do y'all know right now he is trending number one on social media his ass done got arrested, okay? While Ashanti is pregnant and do any day now, this fool done got arrested for driving with no insurance and he was caught with ecstasy. This is embarrassing. The mug shot looked like he'd been up for days. He looked higher than Kuda Brown. Child, go ahead and watch this news clip. Today at 4 o'clock, we're learning St. Louis native and beloved rapper Nelly is facing charges after a run-in with Highway Patrol early this morning in Maryland Heights. Our Caroline Hecker actually joins us now in the newsroom with this developing story. Caroline, do we know where this actually, the arrest took place? We do. According to the arrest report from the Missouri State Highway Patrol, Nelly was arrested at 4.45 this morning by troopers with the gaming division at the Hollywood Casino in Maryland Heights. We know he was charged with possession of a control controlled substance after troopers found four pills of ecstasy. He was also charged with driving without insurance. Now, after being booked by Highway Patrol, Maryland Heights Police confirming Nellie was transferred to them, where he was booked for failure to appear on an old traffic charge. Now, we have reached out to Highway Patrol to find out more about the circumstances surrounding his arrest at the Hollywood Casino, whether he was in the parking lot or inside at the time the troopers arrested him. We have also requested body camera and dash camera video of the incident as well. And David, one last note, we just got word from Maryland Heights police that he was released after being booked with the Maryland Heights PD. All right, y'all just saw that. This is a shame. Like I said, back in 2015, he was caught with a bunch of methamphetamines back then. He was charged with felonies. So you would think that since then he'd grow up. This man is damn near 50 and got a baby do any day now. You out here getting popped for ecstasy and no insurance? Why is your insurance not paid, sir? I know 21 year olds who pay their car insurance on time. So this is sad, you know, again, everybody was cheering for this, but like I was saying, I'ma just sit back and sip tea. Cause again, we want Ashanti to be happy. You know, Ashanti's always wanted to be a mother. I think Nelly is still stuck in the nine nines and the 2000s. Cause he's literally still doing the same thing that he was getting in trouble for way back then. So this is just a shame. I was not expecting this when I walked onto Twitter. I really thought she had had the baby, but oh no, Nelly couldn't do right. His ass done got arrested, okay? Now another crackhead news. <laughs> so there's some more shit trending on Twitter. Milo was trending today because he's blasting Kanye West and Kanye West is dentist, okay? So Milo's really concerned about Kanye. We've been seeing Kanye out and about these past few days with his new wife. She's been out here topless, once again, barely wearing anything. This is the same man who professed to be a Christian not too long ago, but won't stop pimping his wife out. But anyhow, this is what Milo had to say. He says, there is a reason Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, is no longer capable of successfully releasing music or clothing. In fact, there are several reasons, but the most serious and the most recent is his dentist, Thomas Connolly. Connolly got Ye hooked on nitrous, laughing gas. It is my belief that Connolly sought to diminish Ye's mental faculties so that Connolly and his business associates could extract millions of dollars from him. Earlier this year, I uncovered the fraud and intervened. 
Ye hooked on nitrous, blew up our relationship on purpose by proposing something he knew I'd have to resign over because I had told him so. The resurrection of his longtime idol fantasy of making porn. Because if you guys know, Milo, you know, switched his life around. He's a professed Christian and he believes that porn is bad. It leads to further addiction. So when Kanye announced that he wanted to start making porn, which again makes no sense to me because Kanye was claiming to be a good Christian not too long ago, Milo said, if you want to go indulge in making porn, I'm out. So Milo was true to his word and, you know, he left. Then he goes on to say, Thomas Connolly is a dangerous predator who targets African-American celebrities into whose mouths he puts fake diamonds, as I suspected he did to at Little Yachty. He must be stopped. I filed a complaint with the California Dental Board last week to that end. So when he wrote this, this went viral all over social media, and he also posted a video of Kanye admitting to being on nitrous gas. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Ryan Garcia, this is Ye, I'm on the nitrous Ryan Garcia, this Ye, I'm on the nitrous. Ryan Garcia, this Ye, I'm on the nitrous. On top of that, he also showed um, a notarized signature. And then including the affidavit, he posted a lot of the info. Y'all can go online and read it. It's pretty long. I'm not going to read it all here. But it's about, it's about 50 different parts, so y'all are going to have to go online to read that. So a lot of people are really worried, and people are saying, you know, why is Bianca just standing by? You know, everybody's using yay. This is sad. Um, somebody else said, I read the whole thing. Wow, I can never believe that things were this bad. I applaud your bravery. It looks like Thomas Connolly is another Harley Pasternick. Please be careful out there. Thank you for sharing the truth with the world. You're the only one who cares about Ye and the company. So something serious is definitely going on with Ye. And I am glad that Milo is speaking out and he's continued to do the Lord's work. You know, hopefully Ye will get the help that he needs. Um, maybe Kim Kardashian will step in and try to do something as the ex-wife. But it's just really sad, you know, that Ye has fallen off this bad and I do believe that he's not in the right mind because the things that he's doing, his antics that he's pulling on social media, especially with the wife, it's giving me handler vibes. It's giving me that somebody's handling Ye and Ye's not all there. So kudos to Milo for speaking out. I'm going to continue to stay on top of this story and hopefully more will come out of this. Ye has not spoken about this and has not, you know, refuted anything that Milo has said as of yet. Now, in other crackhead news, I don't know what is going on today, child, but right now, Michael Jordan's son. All right, so if you guys don't know, Marcus Jordan is also currently trending right now on social media. Now, this is the one that was Dace and Larsa Pippen, and they recently broke up permanently. They're no longer getting married. And so the paparazzi caught him in the south of France. I'm assuming that he's at the Olympics. But he was poolside in front of everybody, just sniffing what I have presumed to be coke. And they caught him in 4K. And you see him, you know, getting ready to put it up his nose. He puts it up his nose. And then the third picture is him smiling like a Chester cat higher than giraffe pussy. It's just like, what the hell is going on with Marcus? Come on, sir. Don't sit here and tarnish your daddy's legacy. You was already messing with his teammate's ex-wife. Now you out here snorting coke in broad daylight? Like, do you know we could see you in my Cat Williams voice? Do the movie with you. And then we're going we're gonna to go back... Did you know that I can see you? I'm like, there's a lot of drug stories going on today. It's just, it's just crazy. But so he's trending for, you know, doing blow in public. So now in other more serious news, there's some drama going on in the Bronx. So if you guys do not know, there's a new Bronx group and they're called Dads Against Predators. And what ended up happening is that they're a group of, you know, internet vigilantes. So on July 8th, around 8.30 p.m., they filmed themselves basically running down on a man who came to meet a 13-year-old boy. Well, come to find out, that man was a Bronx prosecutor, okay? And he recently stepped down from his position a few days ago. And so now everybody's like, okay, he just gets to step down from his position. What's next? Is he not going to go to jail? He was out there trying to meet a 13-year-old boy for sex. And when I tell you they put hands on him, they put hands on him. Y'all go ahead and check out this video right here. Bitch ass. He's trying to fuck a 13 year old boy. Oh, no. Yes, you are. Hey, what you here doing, Marcus? You trying to meet a 13 year old boy? 
Yeah, you trying to be a thirteen year old boy, Marcus? No. This yeah, you trying to be a thirteen year old boy? No, hey, nah, you you, you want to take him to get a milkshake, right, Marcus? No, I didn't. You didn't, Marcus? Now you got your ass in a fucking full Nelson right here, You're getting yoked up. Child predator in the Bronx trying to meet a thirteen year old boy. Excuse me, everybody. This yeah. man right here trying to meet a thirteen year old boy. Yeah. That's what you get for trying to meet a fucking little a little boy. Child predator. Child predator right here. Yeah, you trying to get a milkshake with him, huh? Who I was it? You trying to get trying real to familiar. What you trying to do? It was strange. Hey, get your ass, your All right, so y'all just saw that video. So that man who they were roughing up, his, like I said, he's a Bronx prosecutor. His name is William C.C. Kemp Neal. And what's very disturbing is that he works for the Bronx District Attorney's Office. Um, and so he's handled cases involving child endangerment and has even written about environmental racism. That's really disturbing, the fact that he handled child endangerment cases. Who knows if once he got around those children, he used a vulnerability to probably, you know, endanger them or abuse them more. So I've been trying to follow up to see, you know, are they going to prosecute him in the same way he was prosecuting other people in the Bronx and in New York? Um, there hasn't been much information, but this is very disturbing that somebody who worked with children, who worked with child endangerment, who prosecuted people, was caught soliciting a 13-year-old boy. So it's been a crazy news day on social media, but these were the trending topics. I want to come on and share them with you guys. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on all of these stories. Please leave a comment down below. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Thank you so much for supporting my channel, and I will talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family.